Okay, here I am again on another video. And as you can see from the title, it's gonna be about the filament cutter called Magneto, which Big Tree Tech sent me free of charge. So I could try it out on the Visibot and see how it works. Before getting there, I'm gonna give you a quick update on what I made on the 3D printer since the last video. And the first thing is the X-Ray. I switched the um, original one for a hotoed one from Fisect. It's a Z0 no preload. It's supposed to be lighter. Yes, it is, but I did not notice any gain on acceleration or speed. So that's a thing. But the good thing is that I have less vibration on the tool head. So a better input shape graph. So that is a good thing. The next thing is the LEDs that I installed on the hot end. The same LEDs as the lead up there. So that is pretty useful when I have to calibrate the Z offset and watch the gap between the nozzle and the print bed. Uh, yeah, again, uh, nozzle light. Um, that is part of my most recent modification, which is the magnetic flap vent for the exhaust fan. Here is the magnetic flap vent. So magnetic because I can take it off just by putting it. Uh, this is the LED strip we saw from the inside of the printer. And there will be another magnetic adapter because when I print ASA or ABS, I want to get all the fumes outside through the extraction hole. And this one will be only used when I print PLA or PTG. I just wanted to show you real quick how the flap opens at 10%. 100%. Next to the exhaust fan, I added a new holder that holds my filament sensor and my secondary extruder. And it has three buttons. The first one is to unload the filament, the second one to purge the filament, and the third one to load the filament. So I always wanted to have buttons right at the back of the printer instead of having to click on the computer or the screen. On the left side of the secondary extruder, I have a sensor called Belay as a filament buffer. And the way it works is pretty simple. It asks to the secondary extruder to push more filament when it's compressed and less filament when it's expanded. That way there is less stress on the main extruder and it's easier to print flexible filament without any issue. There is only one thing I don't like it's the fact that sometimes it doesn't slide properly depending on its position. So facing down, it's correct. And facing me, it doesn't slide anymore. Even with a little bit of oil inside, I think it's because of the curve of the PTF tube. That's why I want to make my own version by using a linear ball bearing. And that way, I think it will be way smoother. And instead of using a mechanical end stop switch, I will use a hole sensor. The last thing, as you can hear it, is notification sounds. So that is pretty useful when I'm not in the same room when I'm printing and that there is something wrong on the printer, such as a clog nozzle when the print is paused or even when the filament is out of the sensor. Okay, so let's get on the Magneto's box. On the bottom side, some infos. And here the QR code for the documentation and nothing on the back. Inside the box, we can already see the Magneto and how shiny it is. The second thing is a bag of spare hardware. And the last thing is a sample of thread locker 
so pretty useful. Now the magneto is fully disassembled and this is the main part with its magnet. This is where the hot end will be mounted on. The blade holder with another magnet to get that spring load effect. And the last one is the lever. Okay, everything is mounted back but look how tight it is. <laughs> Okay, there. Now it's way better. This is what you get if it's too loose and this would be bad for the input shape for sure. I put thread locker and now give a slight turn and yeah, perfect. And weight wise I have 12.4 and on the box it says 13 grams so we're good okay so before installing magneto on the tool head i'm gonna run some tests on the acceleration and resonances as well so that way i can compare the before and the after <laughs> Quick look on the results provided by Shake and Tune. I'm gonna keep that for a while and start to install Magneto. Um, I have an issue. I can't mount the Magneto on the tool head because of the water coating fitting touching this part. I don't know if you can see it on camera. So that's why I'm getting back to the Air version. Okay, back again on the Aircool version, now it's perfectly installed, but I could not use the previous hot end fan duct, so I had to make it flat on the upper side to be perfectly installed below the magneto. And because it adds more thickness on the tool head plate, I also had to print another CPAP duct with longer spacers. Another thing is that I have to print a part that will press the magneto's lever to cut the filament and then modifying a few things on the printer.cfg and it will be good to be tested. Everything is done and here I added my magneto stopper, bumper, I don't know how it's called. And here on the X and stuff, I added an extension. The final STL will be in one piece. I just didn't want to take everything apart just to change the X and stuff. So that way it will prevent the nichrom wire to hit the gantry. So anyway, it's time to test the acceleration and resonances to compare with the previous one.
It's now time to show you the Magneto in action, but I will not print a multicolor object because my VisiBot is a single filament printer and I don't want to change the filament by hand on each cut. So instead I made a macro to demonstrate some sort of movement and filament cuts. So if you are interested, it will be in the description box. <laughs> Okay, it's the end of the video, and in conclusion, I'm gonna say that it will be great for multicolor printing on the VisiBot, and it's cool to see that you will not lose acceleration, so that's a really good point, and it's super rigid, because it's made out of aluminum, and the finish is awesome, I really like it. But as we saw on the video, it's not compatible with my extra dot which is the low version, water cooling low version. So before getting the Magneto, be sure you have the right setup. I will put a link in the description box below so you will be able to check that out. So thank you Big Tech for sending me this product to test. And I also thank you all for watching the video until the end and I will see you next time. Bye bye.